Hey guys, Chris from Tillman Family Farms. Um, today, I wanna talk to you guys about electric fence netting. Um, a little while back, if you've been following the channel, you'll, you will understand what I'm talking about. We had a problem with this group of feeder pigs uh, as they were weaned as piglets that came out of a training pen. And we put them out on two strands of electric wire like we've been practicing since we got started a little over a year ago. Um, and in that two strands of wire, we made some mistakes, but these pigs learned real fast not to respect that wire. And when they learned that, I couldn't keep them in it. So I had to do something different. So I started looking for electric fence netting like this. We already use Premier One for our poultry netting. Um, it, it's Premier One's tried and true, tested. Everybody uses it. It's a great product. Well, guess what? When I needed it, it was out of stock. Everything was out of stock. There's even some other companies out there that I was finding that are kind of a generic Amazon type brand that were out of stock. So I stumbled upon this company. The name of this company is Starkline. Um, and the, the price point was really good and we were desperate at the time. So, so we bought two sections of it, uh, 164 feet, and got it here. And we're using one of our Gallagher uh, uh, solar fence chargers to power it. Works great, carries the current great. But now we're gonna do a comparison between it and the uh, poultry netting that we have from Premier One. Now, there are two different styles of netting. This is a utility netting, uh, so it's a little bit shorter and it doesn't have as many strands all the way down. The, the holes are bigger than the, the poultry netting. But as far as the quality of it, how it goes together, the step-in post, the distance between the step-in post for the, the different uses and whatnot, that's what we're gonna look at today. Hang tight, I got another section over here on the ground. I'm gonna load it up and we're gonna go down to where the chickens are and we're gonna compare it to that fence, okay? All right, so I've got these two fences side by side here, and the biggest comparison that I wanna make right here, uh, first off, is the difference in the connections, okay? I said earlier that the connections on this fence were smaller than the ones on the Premier One. What the difference really is, now that I've got them side by side, they are relatively the same size. What I've found is that this metal is a little bit thicker. It's a little bit tougher, a little bit more durable. May, may take it longer to get out of whack than what the Stark line is, okay? So the Stark line, it, I mean, like literally barely any pressure I can bend that. Um, they could make some improvements in that area. We talked about these filaments earlier. Um, what this is, it's like a... Uh, a nylon uh, or maybe even poly i'm not exactly sure what that is it's made of but it's got you can barely see it right there it's got little little uh, steel filaments in it that carry the electric charge this is a utility fencing so once again it doesn't have as many strands through it this one is a poultry netting so you can see the difference in the size and the squares down there versus the size and the squares here. So that's generally our initial, you know, hey, what's what's different about these two styles? Now let's look at the, the physicality. <laughs> Chill out. Anyway, um, let's look at the physicality uh, of the, the items that make up the fence itself. All right, in this case, uh, we're looking at the uh actual part that steps into the ground here uh this is uh they're two prong both of these uh so this one here is the premier one tried and true and you can see that there's nothing here i mean it, it's just the metal you know sometimes um if you got some little wimpy feet or some little crappy rubber boots on that's gonna hurt your foot a little bit in my opinion this is where stark line is winning this is their step compared side by side to the two. Stark line has a, almost a, a little platform there for you to, to apply pressure to. Uh, you, get a little bit, you get a little bit more uh, surface area there to uh, be able to stand up on it good and press it in the ground. And that's pretty important to us because sometimes we have some really dry summers here 
and this ground here gets really, really hard. So this is a big help for us. So this is another something that, that Starkline does. This little sign comes attached to the fence. I do not recall getting that with my Premier One setup. I've got two, either two or three sections of that netting with a charger, and I don't recall getting a, a, a caution uh, electric line sign there. But as you can see, it's in a couple different languages. So this brand may be more popular in other countries. So we've talked about the bottom of the post, okay? And the differences in the two prong spikes that go into the ground. So now let's talk about the post itself. From what I see here, so this one that I'm beside right now is the Stark line. Um, I don't see any physical differences between this and the Premier One. The construction is basically the same. The diameter is the same. The idea with the black plastic caps at the top is the same. Um, so in this area, I really don't see any differences in construction, nor do I see any differences in quality. They both seem to be as sturdy as one another. So in this category, they'll probably fall right together in the same uh, area there as far as how they're built, uh, how they'll stand up to the test of time and all that stuff. I think they're made out of the same material. Uh, I, don't, uh, I don't have a magnet. I'm not sure that those are, are uh, metal anyway. They may be uh, fiberglass, but anyhow i really just don't see a whole lot of differences here the wires attached to them the same they've got the same little black pieces here um so far these two fences are very 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 comparable to each other all right so before i did this video a couple of weeks ago i actually sent an email to starkline and asked them if they would send me the specifications of their fence wire itself that carries the current um Unfortunately, I have not received an email back from them, but sitting here with a side-by-side -side comparison, it looks to me like the Premier One does appear to have at least one more strand of conductive wire through each strand of uh, electric wire on their fencing. The wire itself looks to be about the same diameter uh, at, at all strands. Um, at first appearance, I thought that this wire with the start line was much thinner than what it was with the Premier One, but with a side-by-side -side comparison, it appears that the diameter is relatively the same. So in that aspect, they're the same. Conductivity, I do feel like I'm counting at least one extra strand in the Premier One fencing, which is going to give it some per superiority as far as how it carries the current and, and how much more of a pop it gives when the animals get onto it and it teaches them to stay away from it. And in this case, even uh, when you have uh, predatory animals coming in, fox, uh, fox, coyote, uh, raccoons, anything like that after chicken. So um, that conductivity is gonna be better in this Premier One, in my opinion. All right, guys, so let's get down to the brass tacks about what this video is really about. So we've already kind of gone through the differences in the fencing and my unanimous decision uh, in my own mind and my wife's mind is that this is a pretty good product. We've been using this product for a couple of weeks now. We, we've got a, a misfit group of pigs in there and they are respecting it extremely well uh, and they're staying in it and we've had no problems at all. Now that's not to say that we may not have problems in the future, but what this is really all about is that this is an alternative product to uh, a product that has pretty much, I don't want to say they've captured the market, but when you talk about utility electric fencing, the first name that anybody will say to you is Premier One. Um, I, you know, I, I've studied on electric netting, you know, over the past year or so pretty hard and, and have uh, thought that there's nothing out there that compares to Premier One until I got in a situation to where I had to have something. So we gave this a try. We will use this product again. I will buy this product again. So now let me tell you about the cost comparison of it, okay? Uh, the Premier One, the only thing that I can find in Premier One that, that compares almost identically to this utility netting that they have is the Premier One sheep, uh, is their sheep netting. I wanna say it's a, it's a 
the same length, 164 feet, uh, and it's nine strands. So maybe there's a difference in how many poles. I think this, the, these, uh, the, the distance between poles in this utility netting is about 10 feet. Not sure what the, the netting is on the sheep, but uh, you're looking at, I wanna say when I looked it up, it was $196 for the Premier One brand, okay? This fencing from Starkline that they had in stock when I needed it, they weren't out of stock of it, they had it, they were ready to go, I got it in a couple of days, it was $136 for 164 feet. Um, and we've been pleased with it. It is, in our opinion, a great alternative to the Premier One fencing. And the best thing about it is that it, it's built and designed so you can use it in conjunction with what you already have. You can mix the two. So if you're solely using Premier One and you're in a tight like I was, and you know you've got to have something, you can order this stuff and the and, and the connecting pieces they slide right together. You know I know a lot of people mix and match whatever, and they use alligator clips back and forth. That's fine too. But this is already set up, ready to go, to where you can just go from one right to the other. So um, I don't know that they intentionally uh, did that. I, I'm not 100% positive which company was around first, but this product is less expensive and it's worked great and we hadn't had a problem with it at all and i would recommend it to just about anybody that's out there using electric netting for livestock guys it's been rainy here in georgia and i've had a hard time getting this video in actually uh and on top of that our, our farm chores we've had to hit and miss it all day long but i'm gonna wrap this one up i really appreciate you guys watching follow along Put me some uh, comments down there in, in the uh, comment section. Tell me what you think. Uh, tell me if you feel like I should have gone over something else on this product. Um, that would be very helpful for me in the future to tell you guys and be able to give you guys the information that you need and that you would, would like to have when you find something like this. But um, we're going to get out of the rain. It's uh, We're still a little slack right the second, but it's coming. So we're out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next video.